deals, which are illegal, are on classified ad sites such as Craigslist. Charities have described the adverts as exploitative and Hove MP Peter Kyle wants them made illegal. Craigslist, which on one day carried more than 100 such adverts, has not commented. One student described how she felt her only option was a sex for rent deal. The woman said, he took me into his living room, got me drinks, and then after that it was just straight upstairs and go for it. And she continued, he would do what he wanted to do, forcefully, and I just sort of went along with it, after the third time, I started feeling physically unwell. Young homeless people staying with strangers. Center Point Survey 25% of young homeless people said they had stayed with a stranger. 14% of the rest said they had considered doing so. 403 people answered the question on the center point survey. The survey did not ask if the person had sex with the stranger. Adverts seen by BBC Southeast included one posted by a Maidstone man asking for a woman to move in and pretend to be his girlfriend. Another publicizing a double room available in Rochester in exchange for services and one in Brighton targeting younger men. One advert posted by a London landlord asked for a naughty girl to move in. Landlords who posted the adverts were clear how the arrangement would work. One said, I was thinking once a week, something like that, I'm happy as long as there's sex involved. Another said, you agree sort of like a couple of times a week pop into my room sort of thing, but as far as the apartment's concerned, it's like completely as if we're flatmates. It's all the bills, the rent, free. Mel Potter, from Woman Brighton Oasis Project, a women's charity, warned of the dangers. She said, it's something that potentially can trap someone and put them at risk of violence and abuse. Choice disappears. Andrew Wallace, of anti-slavery charity Unseen, said, I think these adverts go as close to the edge of the law that they possibly can without breaking the law. They would argue that they have chosen voluntarily to enter that situation. The trouble is when you have a vulnerable person who then becomes exploited, the concept of choice soon disappears. Win-win situation One landlord defended the deals as a friend with benefits arrangement. He said, you can argue that higher end charged by landlords is taking advantage too. There's no compulsion for them to do this. Everyone goes into it with their eyes wide open. I am the last type of person who'd like to take advantage. Both sides have something the other person wants. I see it as a win-win situation. Paul Nodlet, from Homeless Charity Center Point, suggested website owners could consider a voluntary code under which they could monitor and remove such adverts. But Mr. Kyle said they should be compelled to deal with the issue. If they don't stand up to this and then accept their responsibility, I will be pushing for legislation to do it for them, he said. Follow bbc.com.com. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe SH channel. Goodbye and see you again. You again.